It's Jody Evans from thejoylovebus.com. When was the last time that you took some time for yourself? I mean like really sitting with yourself. Every day things happen. We got to be here. We got to be there. We got to do this. We got to do that. We're always taking care of everything and everyone else. But we don't take time to sit with ourselves and really get to know ourselves. What do you dream of? What do you want? What do you want to be? What do you want to become? How do you want to serve the planet? How do you want to serve humanity and make a difference in this world? Do you even have time to think about that? I know some of you will say, I don't have time. I'm too busy. I'm too, too this, too that. I bet if you looked at your day, you'd find plenty of time. How long are you watching TV? How much time are you spending on Facebook? We are in this body our entire lives with this mind and this heart. Do you give it any attention at all? I had a lesson recently. I realized that I was making decisions based on what other people would feel better about if I did it this way, if I did it that way. And it occurred to me that I'm not being loyal to myself when I do that. We value loyalty and integrity and all those things. And they're so important. But if you don't start inside, it doesn't matter what happens on the outside. Be the change. It starts inside. If you want to do great things in this world, you have to start doing great things in here. So my message is, take some time. Turn off the TV. Turn off the radio. Shut off Facebook. And go be with yourself. Meet yourself in a whole new way. And find out how much greatness is in there. Find out who you are, what you want, what you dream of. Answers to everything will come if you sit long enough with yourself. You are made of stardust and miracles wrapped in skin. You have greatness inside you that you can't even imagine, let alone tap into, if you don't get to know it. Love yourself. Forgive yourself. Be proud of yourself. Think of everything you've overcome in your life. Everything you've lived through. Spend time celebrating you. And getting to know you. At the end of your life, it is not going to be about how much you've accumulated. About what kind of job you had. What kind of car you drove. It's not going to be about if you finished 17 things before you went to bed today. At the end of your life, it's going to be about how much did you do with this? I love you, and I want you to have total peace and happiness. And the only way you will ever find that is by finding yourself. Have a great day.